Hello everyone, my name is Tatenda from CG Turf, and today I'm going to be showing you how to attach an object to a motion path, which is one of the easiest way to animate. You can use this even for cameras, but I'm going to show you how to do it, trying to attach like an object. So, um, I think this one I can definitely create from scratch. I think they're gonna be tutorials where I'm not gonna be able to do this, but I'm taking the opportunity now. And I guess maybe let me let me take this opportunity to create the first thing I ever learned how to create in Maya. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna tell you just yet, but I think you're gonna figure it out. And I'm gonna utilize the the extrude option. So I've got my cube. Okay. Just okay, let me make it simple because I know that they're beginners. Um, so I just created a cube. You see, I'm on the let me go on the modeling menu set. Uh, okay, right here. So on the poly modeling, there's this cube, or you can go to create polygon primitives and cube. Okay, and then what you want to do is you I hold okay, I hold the right click mouse button and then I select face and then I'm gonna shift select these two faces and then the next thing is I'm gonna select extrude which is this shortcut right here and then I'm just gonna scale it down like that and then I'm gonna uh, maybe let me do it this size and then now I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit extrude again and then I'm going to stretch it out like this. And I think the next thing, I'm just going to pull it back just like this. And minimum, okay, put it somewhere there. And then I hit extrude again, stretch it out, and then scale it down. And I think you can already see what I'm trying, like what I'm trying to create. <laughs> and I hit W and just put, put those down just like that <laughs> then I'm gonna select the front face press G it, G sort of it it um it repeats the action like in this case I was extruding so when I press G it will extrude it always repeats the action all right something like this <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Low poly. This is like so low poly. Alright. This is not even supposed to be a tutorial on learning how to um, model, but I'm just I'm just doing it because I can. Okay. Um here we go. So as you can see, I just created a jet fighter, <laughs> uh, somewhat of a jet fighter. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. You get the idea. If I smooth it, yeah, you know, it looks like a jet fighter. Some, you know, I don't know. Maybe if we stretch it out like that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this will be this will be our jet fighter. You know. It will definitely work for for what we want to do <laughs> so i'm just gonna put it here so the next thing is this is the important part i guess of this tutorial i'm just gonna go to create uh curve tools ep curve ep curve two and right now i'm just gonna select my top view and i'm gonna start creating from the from the actual plane i don't have to for example, if I wanted to start from like here, I'll just click here and just create my curve. I'm just gonna create it just like that. Then I hit enter and that's my, that's gonna be the path, the flying path of the plane. Let me also put some, you know, just to make it more interesting. It is to go up and down. Okay. 
I didn't really plan this. You know, I'm just trying to be as random as possible. But I think this is good. I'm not even like I'm not even sure how it's gonna look like, but I think it's gonna be interesting. So now okay. So now the next thing like I just hit three to smooth it out. Um so now I'm gonna hit I'm gonna select the the jet and then I'm gonna select the path. And then you want to go on your animation menu set and then you select constraint. And then here you're gonna go to motion paths and then you say attach to motion path but then you want to select the options so that we can just clarify a couple of things um so there's like time slider maybe i just want you to fly for i don't know um four seconds so for example from frame one to frame 100 and i guess this would be like 25 frames a second um and then the front the front because hmm. we have to check our x-axis here so the front axis of this that's the blue so that's the x uh, that's z actually so we need to select z as the front and the up is the yellow part which is the green part the y and that's fine so while, while we are selecting these two we just hit attach there you go so now when i hit play it's gonna be following that path just like that it's, it's uh it's quite simple <laughs> so that way you don't have to like animate everything you can just attach it to a motion path and i also believe like if you for example if you select the motion path you can even go to windows um animation editors graph editor this is where you can actually like really edit the animation uh, let me see for example if i select the jet it will actually show me like what i want probably what i would want is this type of curve it starts fast and then gets slow at the end i'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with this <laughs> So it's gonna be fast and slow, fast and then slows down at the end, just like that. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope this will be useful. Um, it's a like it's a good thing to know. There's a lot more to learn from this, but I just thought I'd do something um, that's really quick, something that I know that even a beginner can do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.